Hey, what's up, everybody? Pastor Chase here. And uh, we just wrapped up a series on the Gospel of John where we looked at John 1 and we found this thread all through John where Jesus was in the world, but the world did not receive him or recognize him. They rejected him and they had no clue they were talking to the Messiah or they didn't want to talk to the Messiah. That got me thinking, what are some of your favorite Bible stories or passages or verses? And over the next one, two, three for devotions, I just want to share some of uh, my favorite passages that uh, that I've stored in my heart or that have spoken to me through seasons of life. And I want to invite you to share in the comments below what some of your favorite passages are, what your favorite Bible verse is, or what your favorite um, story is from the gospel. Just to share it below and maybe why. You know, I think it's important to have favorite Bible verses or passages, or stories, and it's okay if it changes. The Lord speaks to us in different seasons of our life, and maybe there's a certain phrase, or passage, or verse that we just feel like, man, that really got me through this time in my life when I was dealing with someone that I lost, or when I was making a big decision, or when I was really uh, kind of fearful for what would come next. This passage really, really kind of uh, took root in my heart, and, and that's okay. Uh, and, and, and I think it's important to have these um, favorite passages because it's important to, to intimately know the Word of God, right? This is how the Lord speaks to us. This is His Word. This is how we get what's right and wrong. This is our direction. This is our life. And it's important to, 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 to understand. We're to read this every day, to, to talk with God every day, to pray with God every day. And the Bible is the main way that we do that. So it's, it's important to have some, some of these favorite passages, to have this intimate knowledge of the Bible uh, it's important to store these passages, these words in our hearts, that we're able to be able to recall them, to hold tight to them in our hearts so that when we're not reading it, when it's not in front of us, we still can kind of shape our life by what it says. And finally, it's important to, uh, in these seasons of life, to allow God to speak to us. And, and the first one I want to share to you is one that, that I've, I've held near and dear to my heart. Um, really, whenever I was was growing up was Deuteronomy 31 6 and it says this be strong and courageous do not be afraid or terrified because of them for the Lord your God goes with you he will never leave you nor forsake you in high school I went to a fairly large high school and was fortunate enough to play basketball there and I mean when I say big it was it was a fairly big school and whether it was football or basketball whenever we played certain teams it's almost like the whole town the whole city shut down and everyone focused on on those games and sometimes there'd be crowds of people and there were a few times where we I was able to sign some things whether it's for an auction or just for some giveaways for some fans and I would sign my name and then I would write Deuteronomy 31 6 and, and this passage spoke to me so so much I loved how how God's promising and almost like demanding that that we are to be strong and courageous and to not be afraid because the Lord God goes with you he will never leave you nor forsake you. And and for a short guy who was playing a sport uh, with a bunch of people taller than me, um, you know, sometimes it did get a little scary, especially playing in front of a lot of people. And this passage r really, really spoke to me. Be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Whether that had to do with an upcoming decision about college or a career, or what that looked like, or even transferring colleges later. This passage, Deuteronomy 31.6, spoke to me so, so much, and it still speaks to me today. What's it like to be a father for the first time? What's it like starting in a new church? All of these moments can bring fear, but this promise is, is so encouraging and just holds tight. Be strong and courageous. Do not be uh, terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. And I hope and pray that this passage encourages you as well to be strong and courageous, to be bold. Do not be afraid or terrified because the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. I think it speaks to his love. It speaks to how God is everywhere, but how God specifically loves each of us. And so for the next uh, few, few, few devotions, I'm going to be sharing other passages that have spoken to me on uh, different seasons of life. This one for sure, when I was growing up, Deuteronomy 31.6. Um, it's one, one that I still still have a special place in my heart for. But uh, if, if you can, in the comments below, leave your favorite passage. Leave maybe why that speaks to you or why it's speaking to you now. 
And maybe that will speak to someone as they're reading and browsing this page. You never know. Uh, Meshagar passage might, might speak to someone else. I hope you guys have a great week, and I'll talk to you later. See ya.